good morning last week we had the chance to go to york now we don't live too far from here from there obviously i'm in the uk so we're talking york in the uk uh, a beautiful historical place absolutely love it not been for years but we had the opportunity because my son was doing some uh, filming extras work uh, over that direction so we dropped him off and then we went into york and had a wonderful day there it was lovely weather and if you've never been have a look at some videos of york the historic side of it and everything there's just so so much to take in we didn't actually see everything in that full day i think in a perfect world you could do with a couple of days maybe a stay overnight something like that but what I did find out, and it was literally only the day before I realised, because I popped in, you know, doll shops, of course I did, I'm going to York, I'm going to a different place, I've got to look for doll shops, I've got to look for wool shops, antique shops, I always like to have a little look what's going to be there. And nothing had really come up, so I'm like, oh, okay, we might see a toy shop whatever we'll have a look round. but the day before i was looking on youtube and it was under rachel hoffman's um videos that they're going to be doing for the virtual doll convention and she just popped a little thing up saying that if anyone is in the uk and they live near york pop into this shop i'm like oh didn't know that existed so i'm going to hold something up now and i'm hoping you can see it properly i have a bag and as you can see it says Mary Shortle. Now, this is a absolute dream for a doll collector. I am more of a fashion doll collector, so some of the dolls are not something I would collect. But saying that, obviously, I have a bag here, so you know I bought something. But it's for you sort of like the more antique dolls, you like the ribbon dolls, you like artist dolls teddy bears oh my if you like teddy bears it's absolute heaven so it is definitely if you're ever out that way have a look and again i'll pop some links because she has facebook and obviously the website things like that she does have some fashion dolls so i did buy something which is in this bag i'll give you a sneaky peek really i was a little bit spoiled for choice i couldn't make up my mind it was a barbie that i've got but i couldn't make up my mind which one to get but this is the one that i went for and she's so pretty so so pretty don't you think she's lovely so this is the girl that we're going to be opening today i'm really looking forward to adding her to my collection um but yeah definitely if you get a chance pop in i mean you might live nowhere near it but if you ever get to go to york full stop have a good look round. have a look if the shop's going to be open when you turn up always worth checking when you're going somewhere where the shops are going to be open so we're going to go top down and we're going to have a look at this pretty girl and as i said i'll pop links in below if you want to have a look at the other products that they have so i will see you in a second and we'll get into this box well here she is an absolutely beautiful barbie now you'll be able to see her properly when she's out of the box because i know my light's reflecting on it but as you can see she's a barbie signature doll a little bit of information on the bottom not a lot it just says lunar new year barbie doll etc etc all the basic things that you usually get on a doll box a little bit of decoration here whether they be sort of blossoms and things like that and little things that look like fireworks that look like celebration and on the back a little bit about who she is so it says it's a barbie signature doll and some of these are absolutely gorgeous there's so many to choose from though so she is it says lunar new year and it, it says here a little bit of information is a 15 day celebration that begins with the first new moon and ends with the first full moon of the lunar calendar and it then goes on to say obviously it is a holiday and there's lots of festive things and celebrations and i'm sure again i'll give yourself a second to have a read at that but you know you can find lots of information sort of online about it it says a little bit about it it says her dress is finished with a delicate teal trim and chinese knot style buttons while gold and teal tassel earrings and obviously the other bits and it says honoring the history and beauty of the holiday may barbie lunar new year doll become a cherished tradition in celebrations to come so let's have a little look we need to get into this box it's quite a nice box actually because we can see we've got like they've made again made little flowers there i don't know whether that's necessary i'm not really a box keeper perhaps i ought to for this one i can't see that i'm ever going to sell her but obviously if you do want to sell your dolls on you do need to keep the boxes nice you can see how much i paid for that she was 39 pounds now let's see if we can get in without causing any damage i think we might be able to i think i might be able to do it 
it's just it's these are sometimes a little bit difficult and this is where they can end up ripping right i'm gonna actually pull the doll away from the camera just for a second so bear with me so i can see if i can get in it without ripping nearly there nearly there mm, it's not great it has pulled a little bit but that's okay as i said the probability of me selling her is zero so i will pull her out of the box and so now you can start to see her properly in fact the box is actually in quite good condition there and um, we can see we have a stand here over there and i think that's the back of the stand that's under that bit so there's these cute little flowers it sort of makes the box look nice i'm not quite sure whether it's needed but you know what it's like so I'm going to try and cut these very carefully where she's attached. I don't know whether how well I'm going to be able to do it. Can you see how these come through? In fact, look at that. You see these little things here? You can actually unhook them. Now, I've not seen that before, but saying that I've not had a signature Barbie before. So if you're very careful, you see this bit here. It's got like a little little pointy bit that pushes through where they are. And then you can very carefully push it through the box and detach her like that. I mean, I know I've got that to get off her then, but then my box isn't trashed. And look, oh, look, my stand. In fact, let me turn it over. My stand is there with a bit of sellotape. So let's get that out of the way as well. There we go. So there's our stand and we have a certificate of authenticity for her as well. Certifies that your Lunar New Year Barbie doll was created through the collaboration efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. So a little bit of information. It just looks like it's a very basic black stand. I don't think there's anything on it. But it's nice to have a stand at least. And here we go. Let's see how much more I can get out without doesn't look like these are going to be easy to get out if I can slide these through as well so I'm trying not to break the box because it is quite pretty I must admit I say if she was sold on it's nice to keep the box nice and tidy right you can if you're really really careful you can push these through but the sellotape might actually stop you that's the only problem so basically what I'm doing is I'm just folding folding and pushing through that does work you can fold fold the plastic tab and push it through see that one just came out like that so that's quite good again we can do it with this one fold fold can we get this one through yep we push that through now this one's got the cell tape on Oh, that's the actual flower, so I don't really want to take that out. But do I need to take this bit out? I do. Well, this is a strange box opening, isn't it? I've not had one like this before. But it's okay, it makes sense. It doesn't damage the box, which for a lot of collectors, that is really important. And she is out. Stand. It's a clear stand. I'm tempted to leave it in because that is going to be difficult to get out can you see there and then it's actually quite a nicely shaped stand i don't know how that works i do get it out to show you oh i'm pushing her around there aren't i come on stand there we go that's not helping there is it i think i have to undo the box to get it out there you go if you just slide the bottom of the box we've got it i wanted to show you the stand because it's nice can you see how it's actually a shaped stand not quite sure i presume her legs are going to go between that not quite sure why it's that shape but that's certainly unusual and obviously it just clips into place can you see it's got that curve on it i presume that'll go to the front i can't really tell we'll soon find out when we try her into position and let's get all these bits of plastic off her be careful of her hair obviously and her dress she's got a gorgeous dress on here the hair is well and truly tagged in. Oh, my favourite, not favourite tags. That will be stuck in her head as well. Oh dear, I could do with some finer scissors. These scissors are clumsy, really. Now that's just sewn in, so that's not so bad. Bit, bit of stitching, bit of uh, just a bit of cotton. So we've got some cotton to get out of her hair. And get to see you in a minute. We're taking doing more faffing about with the plastic, aren't we? 
I'm just going to put that across. There we go, because we don't need that. Even if we're keeping the box, we don't need that horrible plastic. Let's move all those little tags. She's got these around her shoes. Look at those shoes, mind. Look at those heels. They're killer heels. Let me get these off. It's a strange plastic. I don't know if it is a recyclable plastic at all. It's almost like a rubbery plastic. And let's have a look at this pretty girl here. Now, the face is absolutely gorgeous. This hair, it feels like there might be a little bit of product in it, but I think that will brush out. Can you see the little taggy bits? I usually just push them into the head if I can, although she's got quite a small head, so I'm not quite sure. I might have to just separate the hair and try and cut them sort of really close but again without trying to cut her hair off so back to her face she is extraordinarily pretty she's got these gorgeous earrings in which again i don't know that surely that's meant to come off i am I, um, I might leave that on can you see the plastic on her earring i might leave it on because of the fear of actually cutting something i shouldn't when i'm doing it she has the lovely dress on when it as it mentioned with the teal detail and sort of the faux little buttons there which are really nice it's a really nice fabric as well really well made you can see the way that it's literally it's been biased all the way around there so again great quality on that side she has nail varnish on which is really cute to match her dress now she's like a solid doll she's not going to get much posability out of this one i mean to be honest i mean you suppose you could sort of you get a little bit of movement like that you can position her but yeah they're pretty solid it does come to the side and again same on the other arm she's a very sort of delicate sort of small build barbie let's have a little look what we got here she has some writing on her bottom um 2003 mattel a little bit of detail she's got some little gold uh, so she's got a little gold tattoo on her bottom there and again i presume that's the product number we have obviously a barbie signature tag in there she could have done with some underwear though because she's not even got the um you know how they have the faux underwear you know it's like printed plastic bits on them she's not actually got that on and does this dress come off easily it does we're not going to take it off fully but we'll just have a little look so you can see there's no bend in the waist or anything like that. But these dolls are designed for display. I will be taking her out to take some photographs, but they are really just display dolls. And that is where she's going to be going for me, just up on display. Got a little bit of movement in the head, so it's going to be quite cute to take some photographs. We can sort of get a bit of expression in there. And so I'll give this hair a brush before I do the photos. And then again, we come down to these killer heels. I mean, just look at those. They're, they are amazing. She's got a very high instep there. I dread to think, what would that be? You know, that'd be a four inch heel, if not more, but beautiful shoes, absolutely beautiful. Again, we have a little bit of a bend to sort of show again for, I keep saying again, why do I keep saying again? Um, for some positioning, because I say, if you're displaying her, you still want her in a nice position. I mean, again, this arm's very fashionista, isn't it? Nearly all the fashionistas have got this one bent arm. I do find that odd sometimes. But all in all, she's absolutely beautiful. We're on about this stand. What do I do? Where does the stand go? Do you have to stand in it, missus? That doesn't look very comfortable, does it? All right. Excuse her modesty a moment while I try and work this out. That can't be right. Is that right? Anybody else got one of these stands? It's very strange. And I suppose maybe because that leg sticks forward, that's a shorter bit, that's a longer bit. Let's see. I think that's it. I think I've done it. There you go. So it does. It makes her legs stick forward a little bit on display. So I think that is why it's a very unusual sort of stand. And it makes her dress hold out as well a little bit. I might have to have a play with that and a bit of research to try and work it out. All in all, she is absolutely beautiful so so pleased with her it was between her and elton john barbie um i'm still wanting but at the moment it was this little girl that won so that is a little view of her if it was something you were considering buying you can see what the doll is like see if it's something you were wanting definitely have a look on the mary shortle sites i'm going to put some photographs on the end of this video as well there'll be photographs of her in my garden and take some nice pictures with that but i've also got permission to pop some photos of some of the items that mary has in the shop so she did say that was okay because i only took a photo from outside the shop because there was a sign on the door saying sort of polite note saying you know 
yeah, rather not take photo please so i did abide by that but i have had permission since to pop some photos on so oh we've got a little bit of hair loss that's just because of the tags isn't it so like i said we'll give it it needs a needs a little brush but nothing else it's only because she's been in storage like she has so that's all i'm going to do for now i'm going to pop some photos on i'm really looking forward to photographing her because i think she's going to be pretty photogenic in these pictures and i will see you all very soon not quite sure with what next i've just done a crochet video so we've got a dolly video i've got a couple of other dolly things i do need to get done um but at the moment i'm going to be off i have cosplay costumes to finish and i will see you all very soon so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the videos please like subscribe and share you know what to do and we will see you all very soon bye bye for now and don't forget to look at those photos